All right. So today we have the report from Bernard Akeda, who just we just spoke to right here on Breakfast Central. Uh, Central. I would love to say thank you to, uh, yes, F. Young for joining us on the program this morning. Uh, thank you very much, F. Young. Thank you very much for having me. All right. All right. right uh, still more on Breakfast Central. We're going straight to Zambia, where President Edgar Lungu yesterday, he collapsed in the capital, Lusaka, during a National Defence Day event, now in a statement issued to reporters, Secretary uh, to the Cabinet, Dr. Simon Miti, said the president is well and has continued to discharge his duties. He said that the president experienced what he termed sudden dizziness, but recovered immediately. Now, the Zambian leader who ascended to power in a by-election necessitated by uh, Michael Sata's death in 2014 had a similar experience in 2015 and it was caused by what the presidency called an esophagus condition. Now, meanwhile, Zambia is preparing for a general election set for August 12th in um, 2020, as 2021, I beg your pardon, as we speak. Well, our correspondent from the country, Zambia, uh, Makina sends us, Lydia Makina sends us this report. Hello, good morning. Hope you guys are doing fine. All right, good to see you. You look nice, by the way. Right, so a lot has been happening with the head of state. The state uh, recently, um, uh, the Legal uh, Resources Foundation had challenged the, uh, His Excellency Dr. Edgar Changwalung that is not eligible to stand as a president for the forthcoming general election, which is uh, in August. So the researchers from the University of Zambia and Dr. Sesho Sesho had also uh, filed in a petition that uh, His Excellency Dr. Edgar Changwalungu is not uh, eligible to stand as a president, which there was silence among the patriotic friends uh, supporters and uh, they, there was no much of campaign. But on Friday, there was good news that uh, he is eligible to stand as the president for the forthcoming general election. So we say that uh, PF supporters are rated over the good news, which uh, that uh, their presidential candidate is eligible to stand as uh, the president at the first term, uh, which uh, they had uh, found in that uh, the first term he, uh, he took over from His Excellency, uh, the late president, uh, Dr. Michael Chirofiasata. So the first term is not counted because he took over from the late president. So it's counted from the second term and this is the third term, which we call it a third term. But according to the law, it's now the second term to him. That uh, So he's eligible to stand as a president. So that, uh, wow, that was good news. And uh, supporters from the Patriotic Front uh, celebrated over this that are now campaigning a freely a door-to-door -door campaign and uh, his excellency dr edgar changalungu uh had the good news while he was on his uh, four-day waking in uh eastern province uh, where the news found him so you see that he's also at peace knowing that he's actually eligible to stand as the president for the forthcoming general election well yesterday again he was officiating the 45th uh, uh defense day in lusaka where he felt a dizzy and he collapsed he was later rushed to the military hospital and uh, discharged within uh within a short period of time uh, he was discharged. So according to the uh, head of state, uh, so we see that they have assured us to say that uh, His Excellency Dr. Edgar Changwalungu is now doing fine and he is uh, he has recovered and he is doing fine. So he collapsed during the commemoration of the Defense Day, the 45th Defense Day yesterday in Lusaka. Well, that's it from my side. It's back to studio.